my name is Ikleli Montiel and I'm here with my best friend Perla Ariola and we're both from Mr. Galani's hot, hot class. Today we'll be analyzing an expository piece called A Life in the Woods. We still don't know the author yet but we're soon gonna find out. Let's move on to the purpose of the expository text. Hi my name is Brian Cepeda and I'm here with my partner Angel Medina. And today we're going to talk about the purpose of expository and informative text. First of all, the purpose of an expository or informative text is to inform or expose the reader to something. Informative and expository texts are fact-based and their goal is to educate the reader. <coughs> informative expository texts are organized clearly and constantly. Hi, my name is Marlise Ario Gonzalez. My name is Perla Ariola. And today we will be talking to you about text, text features. features. The text features we will be talking to you about are from a piece called A Life in the Woods. We will be only telling you six. Heading, subheading, title, caption, bullets, and map. Now here, here is a picture of some more text features. Now moving on to genre. Hi, my name is Iklali Montiel, and today I'll be talking about genre. The genre of the piece called A Life in the Woods is narrative nonfiction. I believe this to be narrative nonfiction because at the top of the book, you clearly see that it says narrative nonfiction. Now let's talk about the three different kinds of point of views. There's first person point of view, second person point of view, and lastly third person point of view. First we're gonna start talk about the first point of view. First point of view is when the author writes I, we, me, my, or our. The second point of view is you, your, yours. And lastly, the third person point of view is when the author says she, he, they, them, or else the names of people. Hi, and let's talk about the main idea of this piece, A Life in the Woods. So we are going to tell you two main ideas. I will be saying the first one. The first main idea, I think, is don't judge a book by its cover. And I think the second main idea is first know something before before you're judging it or else if you think wrong, you could think that this is bad, but when it's actually good, um, uh, you could tell it to other people and other people will lose a judge about it. Okay, and I think that the second main idea is to experience something before judging it. I believe that that is the second main idea because, because in the piece, in the called piece, A Life in the Woods, Thoreau um, first thought that nature was just too lonely, but then when he actually went and lived there for a while, he figured he out that it's So actually, much company! Yeah, that you get so much company from the animals. Mm -hmm. Every expository piece has one out of five text structures. The five text structures are problem and solution, sequence, description, compare and contrast, and cause and effect. Yes. And the piece A Life in the Woods has the text structure problem and solution. So we think that it is problem and solution because Thoreau couldn't write a book because his family was being too noisy and the solution was he had to make it a word. Yes. Rules of capitalization. Let me talk about some rules of capitalization. Some of the most common rules of capitalization are capitalizes the word of a sentence, capitalizes a name, and capitalizes a thing and a place. Some examples are Henry David Thoreau. There. If 
it's a princess name. For more examples are, are Disneyland, Valle del Sol, uh, Legoland, and where Thank you for watching.